Okay, so it should be it should be fine now. Except that uh, let's add these because if we do this one, we're gonna miss the debug tool. So core Danny, uh, okay, Danny's mod is pretty much. I went the game without him before, just to try it a bit. And these are the mods that we're using. The other one wonder what the mods we're using. So uh, we're using uh, Ace Community Expansion. We're using Beam for customizing stats. We're using a uh, different color mods: Catect Extended Colors and Painted Wood. Craftable gravestones. Only add one gravestone to craft. We use Danny's Core mod. It is required for Trapper Plus and glass work to work fully. And a glassworks adds a load of uh, different kinds of windows. Really beautiful. Home sweet home, a lot of decorations. Load with lights, a lot of lights. Lost them. A few decorations and some really, really nice windows. No more dirt holes because uh, the dirt holes on the maps looks terrible. Uh, Nordling Kingdom, the Nordling mod here that's made by Wouter in chat. Really, really nice. Northern House is just one of my templates I have. Obligation Time Tracker is for having a little bar that you can uh, activate different potions and you can put them to always renew when they're off cooldown. And also send merchants like the market stalls and use them in the same way as the potions. So no more looking around for your market stalls or potions, just click on that UI thing instead. And then we have the Sacred Grove, which is a new biome. Sentiment decoration, more decoration, signery, more signs. Uniframe plus for adding a thing so you can toggle the job on and off really, really easy. Someone ordered some bag of memes. Hello, Ars, how are you doing, dude? Okay, let's see if so I got the Trapper. Oh, here we have Trapper plus expands the Trapper profession. Makes it a lot more interesting in Trapper Taxidermy adds various kinds of different... Uh, Animals you can stuff and put on the walls and stuff. <laughs> Wasn't going to share anyway, you're gonna keep them for yourself. So what are you up to tonight, Aris? What have you been doing tonight? So now we're just gonna apply the mod changes and that will like, give us the debug tool and all of the previous mods. Nothing much, really. Had a lazy day on you. Uh, my day has also been a little bit lazy. I've been helping my dad a little bit. He was getting his new uh, bed that he ordered, so I helped him go and pick that up and uh, move it into the house and stuff. Other than that, I've been uh, playing a little bit of Stone Harv, just kind of chilling today. Found a problem. Not how to fix it yet, so happy I told you to spawn it in, so it's not super easy to fix then. Did you try out the bed with your dad? Of course, man, of course. <laughs> and I also bought a lot of body pillows, because my dad loves body pillows. <laughs> so thanks for finding the problem, no problem, dude. No problem, dude, now it's your problem. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, we're gonna spawn in the item with the item stamper and shrine of four. Shrine of four, this one, right? Should it be iconic or just. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Freaking huge. Is it better to do maybe iconic because then you. We get this like that, and then we place it. <laughs> Fill with my hair. I uh, don't think he got those. I think this is the normal one, yeah. But if we do an iconic, we can place it where we're, with our halflings, right? Placeholder. Okay, a placeholder text, I'm guessing. Doesn't matter as long as it's not the blessed one. 
Uh, Banto, one thing I have not seen with your designs is placing stairs inside stairs. Let's uh, say you have stairs going around corners, yes or no? Oh, I think I know where maybe what you mean. I think I maybe done that if it's the thing I'm thinking about. But it's not something I do very often. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna see if I know what you mean. So it's gonna be sitting here next to our Hearth of Bliss. Look at that, it gives some nice lights on it also. So uh, before we do that uh, with the stairs, I'm gonna... I'm gonna check this thing. So it is working, so we can progress now, nice. But this one, it wasn't too expensive to craft if you did it the normal way, right? So... But we had to do it, so... Probably wasn't too much cheating, I guess. So, let's complete this one. Oh, nice! Attempting to manually unlock recipe building parts, fence, gates, iron... Hmm. Will that cause an errors for us? <laughs> There's a bit of stone and stuff. Township established. We have a um, tier 3 town, so we got legendary weapon recipes, engineer, Lord Kali's recipe, mason statues and windows, which are really cool, blacksmith decorations, and tier 3 music. We can safely ignore them. Thank you, man. With so many errors, it's always scary when we get those. Look at them celebrating. I like the light it's giving to that one. Also, collaboration between different professions for crafting them. And win approaches. An inspiring monument. It truly speaks to the glory of Thor. It reminds me all over again why I became a member of the Guard. It feels so long ago. Anwin, are you? Oh, I'm fine. I, I was just remembering something. You know, I really do believe that all gods and our people that have the destiny to retake those lost lands, every new town that springs up serves to strengthen my belief. But it's the towns like your that dedicate the support to Valoris, or how do you say it? Valoris. Guard that truly warm my heart. I brought along plans for the guard, finest weapons, as you surely earned the right to forge them. Now, if my service has taught me anything, it's to eat a good meal when you're given the chance. I'll leave you with celebrating. We just stopped celebrating. So that was a little bit late. Good luck on hammer. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we will be able to craft a hammer. Let in our weapon. Hello, Mary, you're back again. Well, now it seems my favorite little outpost is all grown up. So many things happening. You have to wait, invaders. Well, now it seems my favorite little outpost is grown up. Congratulations on your newfound township. Thank you, dude. By the by, this monument here is special. It's gotten blessed and all. You can build uh, the others if you like. But they just be regular statues, fancy looking ones, but none quite so medical. Still, they make for a nice decoration, don't you think? Yeah, it does look pretty good. So we can pretty much craft uh, the other shrines if you just want them. So thanks for being such a bunch of charming folks. I'm proud to serve the group of such an earnest and ambitious individuals. You make me proud. Farewell for now and the best of luck to each of you. Farewell, Mer. It's been a pleasure. Okay, onwards towards the next thing. So we're gonna take a look at the recipe soon. Wanna see what kind of things we could craft with some shields and stuff. Oh, this one is almost done, that house, that's nice. Do they not have an archer this time either? Let's use that potion. And it, that should also affect, uh, I think someone said that that affects like the fighting speed as well. It affects how fast you move, but also the speed uh, that you hit the enemies, I think. Wait, the unlock screwed up, so I can't craft it. Do you mean that I can't craft, like, which of the things or none of them? 
You mean I can't do any of them? That would suck. Sword Lord level 6 Cleric. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do first. I wanna see if we have the tool to promote someone to be our tank, which is with this axe here. The Ain Harjar axe, so... I do think I put a cross one before, so I guess we do have one. So I could probably be a good tank with the stats I got. The Banto is going to be the tank if we have it. Nice. Okay, Walter. Let's take Ivy. That's going to be our skirmisher. Throwing axes and stuff. Oh, wow, Ivy is really happy. Look how fast she's running. Oh, now we can probably harvest these as well to get some nice coal. Guess we can start with one. And I just think that icon is not shown. There should still be harvesting it. Now I'm a level 1. Look at that. Look at that Skyrim helmet going on. Can't see so much inside, but I do have a few small little holes I can look out through. So, damage reduction rank 1. 10% less damage. So now we'll have a real tank, and I think they do have kind of the same... The same abilities as your normal knight would have. I think it's about the same as the normal knight would have. So, and we also do have this. He Wouters updated the, the stats here. So the spirit, mind, and body looks different than your standard game. So that looks pretty nice, very easy to see. So let's look into maybe what we could um, do for maybe some weapons and armor for our new our new tank in town. We have something we can do. Oh, so here's the legendary weapon. Do you mean do Walter mean that we can't do them? They are in the game here, but uh, maybe we can't craft. Maybe we need something. A lucid gem, and then we need the legendary axe head for that one. And for this one, the legendary hammer that looks freaking awesome. Legendary hammer head, and we need legendary hammer mounting, a legendary hammer haft. Letting a hammer worthy of the God of Four himself. That's pretty cool. So we need that one. And this one. The three mithril ingots. And for this one we need... I'm not sure how we get the lucid gem. I've never seen that in game. And letting their hammer mounting. Is that inside of here as well? Is that a part that is maybe missing? This music is nice, by the way. Is this... Is this for the Northern Kingdom? Or is this for this town, like for the biome, maybe? I don't recognize, recognize this music. So I guess we wait a little bit with um, legendary weapons if you're broken at the moment for crafting. Until we have a fix for it. Another conspicuous hooded figure. A hooded figure approaches, hesitating for a moment before finally removing the hood. Two long ears spill out, the rabbit person shaking their head a, a little as they straighten out. Honorable greetings, I'm Sasha Lightfoot of the 23rd Warren of Amberstone. Apologize for the deception, but it was deemed necessary. I knew it, because I've seen a balance before. Your clan has proven gracious and your garden savory. Man of my kin mistrust the prodigy of the monkey, but I feel we must extend our paw of friendship. I see a talking bunny person. I leave with you a parting gift from these stone cut lanterns. May they light up your path in the dark times ahead. And the visitors present you with several odd ornated stone lanterns and the departs and disappearing into the foliage of a practiced speed. Hello, Ludex Mood. How are you doing? Good to see you. We are talking with bunny people now, so uh, we're doing a little bit of trading with them. 
and they just showed themselves for the first time. Darkness, darkness, times, wait. A grizzled tra traveler. Okay, this was long. It feels like this should already have happened because these wolves. I don't think they will be so tough if they're the standard wolves. Oh dear township, how are things for you? It's been pretty quiet, but you know it's a bad sign when the birds stop singing. My guess is wolf, goblin wolves, watch your borders. You don't want them want to fight them after they got him train got him to ladder. You hear a bunker down if you need to, or run. Running is good, and no shame is surviving another night. Another day. Mantis reading everything wrong. <laughs> Rufus Garrow, hello dude. Oh, look at that. Antler wall feature. Burns kindred bless our halls with their antlers. That could be kinda nice, I can buy two of those. We can decorate with those. Statue of Sir Onep on Gary. Is that like a dwarf statue? The eternal light of the potted plant alongside his loyal companion Gary. An Anyid, a horrendous statue. It is said that Anya bravely fought a pack of wolves under the last radiant sun. Oh, let's buy one of those. Oh, I can't afford it. We had to sell a few things. I don't really know what uh, to talk about since I don't know what counts as backseat gaming. I guess backseat gaming is pretty much when you tell like, do this, do that, do this, do that. But coming with tips and things... Um, like coming with tips, I don't consider backseat gaming, but backseat is more like you are pretty much like controlling the game almost. But if you have tips for things, you are free to let me know. Oh, look at that! We got some nice runes that we can sell. I'll sell these map tables, and uh, for now, I think I will sell all the rune stones. I don't think you missed so much, Walter, but uh, I was looking at the craft on a blacksmith to see what we needed, and you said that we couldn't craft them yet, right? So inside of here I saw the recipes um, for the legendary weapons. So this one we needed legendary hammer head, and we also needed that one, and those we craft here. Uh, the legendary hammer mounting, I don't know where we craft that, if it's in-game or not. And uh, then I have no idea where we will be getting the Lucid Yem. And I hope we can find Mithril in this biome, I hope so. No song request? Oh, we don't have a song request. And the reason for that is that I normally upload my streams to YouTube and I don't want to get copyright striking and stuff. How does it work when all the far uh, workers can farm? Do they prioritize it? I would say that they do prioritize it quite a lot. Feels like it's very high priority, uh, but what I done here is that um, I normally take my villagers and then I just turn off job because job the only thing they do with job is to do farming. So if I want to have a few people that only do farming, I will just remove job from everyone else pretty much. Uh, mounting is made by the potter, so is the gem. Okay, that does make sense. So we need a potter then, and will we be able to do so? There's no bug or anything. We can actually do it. Or do we have to wait for an uh, patch to get it fixed? And also good to see you, Plo. Good to see you. And we have a lot of names in the game, so if anyone wants a name, I'm, I have a lot of names we can give to people. Let's harvest these two for some more charcoal. It all works, nice. And by the way, I asked before when you was away, Walter, like, have you added new music to to these, um, to the Norlings? Because I don't recognize this song. Or is this from Ace Mod with uh, maybe the Highland biome? I guess I follow since I subscribed to you on YouTube channel. Awesome, man. So what's your name on YouTube? Good to have you here today. And this is our town so far that we got going on here. So kind of a Viking image town with a little bit of Banto trying to experiment a little bit. And this is the most recent house and we just put out this one. The Shrine of 2-4, uh, which is for the Northern Kingdom, real awesome. And then we have the Hearth of Bliss that we placed for tier 2. They're all looking nice. Oh, 
oh yeah, maybe I haven't been to Tier 3 with the Northern Alliance. But it's really nice songs, I like the Northern Alliance songs. The person that made that music, I don't remember his name now, but um, did really, really good music. Really nice. So, um, Potter then. That's amazing to do that one. It's not very often I do a Potter when I don't play with the right children. So let's get a knife. But oh, not that one. <laughs> a Potter's Cutter. Thanks for following in, Lude. So uh, let's move that up there. Okay, so we need a potter then. And you said that they can't practice on these ones. I just want to make one anyway. But do you think that will cause any trouble? Since you said that they can't really train your... Like when you play the Northern Kingdom, they can't train on these ones? Or will they just be like a decoration with your mother? Stab the clay till it submits. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> there aren't many mods which improve the engine of the game. Uh, for the, like, the engine itself, like to... Like, improve performance and things. If you mean like that, there isn't uh, any real, I think. Ilbot will not just do anything, so just a decoration, okay. Okay, so that should be good. I want to see what this house... What do we need more for this one? Okay, a lot of wooden things. Are we maybe out of wood? Um, probably out of wood. We have some many different kinds of wood. We do have four mithril ore, so that will be good when we're gonna make the mithril weapons. So let's take this one. And with this one they will replant the things. Let's both harvest and replant. They'll update? Nice. Oh, we beat it again? 23. I think I will lock it to like 24 people maybe. Then we have space for like two bunnies also. So we don't go for too many because the, ma the more people you have, the lagger the game is gonna get and the less enjoyable. So 24 I think will be a good amount and with the bunnies that will be 26. And look at this guy Banto here, the Ain Hai Haya, which I probably pronounced very wrong. Looking really cool, look at those double weapons. That's our tank with the Northern Kingdom, they look really really cool. I'm gonna give him a little screenshot. Can get it on the right height. There we go. Okay, so they should be crafted then pretty pretty soon with a carpenter. Now they'll be getting wood. Oh, we do have a lot of wood. Where is that? Or maybe it's that thing we just chopped down? Wasn't it just stockpile? I didn't see any wood. Oh, here's the wood. Why is there like an empty little spot there? Because the wood we see here, if I remember correctly, is only the wood that we have in storage. Will they also count the one we have here? I'm not entirely sure. But that should be plenty of wood for us. Let's see so the copper is not bugged out. We see that we like crafting two things at the same time and normally that's not a good sign. Uh, crafting a small crate, so it should be working. I wonder if we can do some new food soon, it would be nice. So do more interesting foods. I guess we can remove these. Let's keep like one of those. Oh, we're not cook level 2 yet. Is that... wait a moment. This is with the normal workers, is it? Ooh, okay, so I done this uh, wrong. So, we're not gonna try to maintain that much stuff with our normal workers. Because with the Northern Kingdom, they can cook like basic foods. But we really wanna try to make our cook do most of it. I normally have no problem with having one cook, so... And we will also level up the cook faster if we are focusing on just the... Uh, the cook doing its job. Let's do maybe 25. Because later on we want to mix with other foods. 
some more delicious ones. Like for example, we might want to make some peasant bread, but we need a portion of dough to do that, and to do that we need a sack of flour, and to get a sack of flour we do need to collect the wheat. And uh, do we have wheat here? I hope we do. Okay, there's some wheat. Add changed icon to the do list. <laughs> Yeah, you find the things, more things to do every Bantle stream. So the way I like to do this when I'm uh, carving out for new places is just to... First put these out. I guess I don't have to add wheat to it, because then you're just gonna plant things that will never grow up there. But yes, we have uh, easier to know where we're gonna be putting these later. And we're just gonna remove here. Then we're gonna dig these down like one more step, where we have the farm, so they come down closer to the water. Like so, there we go. So I thought they was going to be filled with food, those ones. I need my outer cricket to loot all of the crops we got here, it would be nice. I'm kind of considering doing like a little barn here. I think it would look nice. And I kind of want to do maybe later some uh, bridge going out there. Oh yeah, 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 the wolves here. We have to deal with them. Goblin wolves are trained to attack on command. Freedom before the command is issued. And you will sleep easy tonight. The one who watches you. That timing with the wolves. So let's head down there. And uh, after this battle, if we're not going to go into another battle... I really have to remember to use this thing, so we can uh, toggle the job on and off real easy with the uh, Uniframe Plus mod. Let's go down there. Oh, there was some more here. Oh yeah, these undead are still here. I wonder if you can deal with them. Oh, look at that. Hey, wait a moment. I see he's using a bow. Prefer bows. So is the skirmish not working or is it because I crafted a bow also before? And using a shield at the same time as a bow, that's quite skilled. That is quite skilled. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. Uh, they're supposed to use axes. Does it say that it is a skirmisher? Because I'm pretty sure it did when I promoted. Level 1 Skirmisher. Because this is because we made a bow. And I think I only made one bow. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, she's probably quite skilled if she can do that. I not expect her to be thrown bows. <laughs> is she actually shooting bows also? Ah, that's an arrow. <laughs> Okay, so that's quite easy. I feel like we have a good troop. What we really might need now is to have another cleric. It always feels a lot safer when we have two of them. We just love this music, so nice. But the trapper is out here looking. Hella was really quick to go out here. Hella was hella quick. <laughs> oh, Archer a animations? Not as bad as I feared. <laughs> Suck Black Hammer, hello dude. We might buy some armor actually. 
Yeah, we're gonna buy stuff. Look at this. Of course we're gonna buy stuff. Why will we... Whoops. Why, why would we wait crafting it? A steel northern bangle. Lightweight and strong protection for the one's head. Is that for, like, the Jarl? Look at that one. Steel northern helm? Ooh. So I'm guessing that's a little bit better, or they has two different fashions. This is not for your war, right? It's from the yes, the Northern Lions, is it? A stuff, okay, cool. Oh, look at that shield. Nice. Oh, what's this music? Cool. I love new music, it's so nice. Uh, so I bought that one. Could be for the cleric. Yeah, it also take two minutes. I'm sorry, man. I think we do low latency tomorrow, so it's better interaction. No invaders, you will wait. Bant is busy looking in the store. <laughs> buy rune amulet. Uh, I guess we can buy those also. So this should give them flame attack, and this will give them... ...to slow down enemies. So yes, a spiky quivers. I wonder what's gonna happen with that skirmisher. Are they gonna use that even though they have a bow? I guess they will. But it feels like the latency is longer than it was last time. Is the stream going, guys? Hello Drisna, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're having a good time tonight. So, um, I'm not sure, is the stream working now, guys? Oh, we get a live feed, nice. Nice. Uh, let's see, can we actually change to low latency? Let's see if it works to change low late to la low latency while we're streaming. I feel like I want to have that um, better interaction with the guys. Anto, long time viewer, first time chatter, nice man. So how long have you been a viewer on my YouTube? Because I think that's where you came from, right? Uh, let's see here, we're gonna go to my settings for Twitch. And see if we can do this. Okay, it's fine for you. It could be that Twitch is having some uh, big streamers going on right now. And if it does do that, it will pri lower prioritize Banto. Okay, so I have loaded latency. We'll see what happens. A quick question. When I load up Stoneheart, it just goes to black screen any ID. Why? Yeah, YouTube. Oh, yeah. I had problems also, like a black screen. And uh, I think that time... It got sorted out by something being updated, like... I had trouble with Project Ace and together with the Nordling Kingdom, I think? So are you running any... did you run any mods or did you like... Did you disable like Project Ace or something? Because when I did it, I just got a, like a black screen. What you can try to do when that happens, a black screen? Is to press F5. That you like reload the UI. So we do it like now. It just reloads everything.
prime time in Europe, bandwidth should be a problem all over. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's why I've been considering a little bit. Like, I really like Twitch, like the community. But uh, the service on YouTube is um, much more powerful than they are on Twitch. But I also like, feel like the community part of Twitch is better than YouTube for streaming. Not sure what you guys think. And also, most people watch streams on Twitch, so it's kind of hard to move people over to YouTube. But someday I will do a YouTube stream just to see kind of how it goes there. Uh, do you know what mods you had? Like any specific mods? Yip yip ow! Goodbye, wolves. Amazon treats their content creators better sometimes, yeah. And uh, I, I personally also think it's nice with Twitch, like I really like the part about bits and stuff. So I also watch some other streamers and I give bits and I think it's really... It's a really fun thing to give people bits because you don't have to, you know, pay so much money to support a creator you like. So you just can give like, let's say 100 bits or something. Uh, or 50 or 20 or however much you want to give and stuff. And I like that you give that and then later when you come back to the stream you usually watch, you will still have your like bits on their page, so... I really like the part. Uh, yeah, trunks, Nordling, map sizes, patrol points, a lot of guides, stack mod. I don't think I had a, like this, a stack mod, I think. Trunks that the, the tree stump mod, right? I think there is... Um, there might be a file that you can delete that holds all of the mods. Maybe if Wouter is in the chat, maybe he can help you. He's uh, he's the one that made uh, the Northern Kingdom mod that we're playing. Oh, I want to buy some things here. Before we continue the battle, let's buy some things. So I want to get one of these helmets. Do one of each of these. And I really want to see this shield. Maybe not so Vikings to have with, but it looks kind of nice. Oh, we do have weapons. We need to buy some weapons. Trapper Plus and uh, Trapper Plus Tanning. Do you also have the Danny Score mod? It's highly advised to have it to punch him fully. But have you tried to do the F5? Like when you get the black screen, you press F5 to refresh the game. Then maybe you get uh, past the black thing. Get past the, blood and the darkness. Okay, more things to sell. Probably have a load of things we could sell. Might have a lot of clay. Yeah, we do have a... a but we might use clay now. I'm not sure if we will use it since we're getting potter. I guess we're going to use it to level up. Which is exploding. Uh, you can definitely, you can definitely be an uh, archer. So uh, when I live stream, at least now, I always like if you have a name and there's a name open, I will name you. So I'm being nice to everyone. So what kind of person you want to be an archer, right? Okay. So we're looking for someone that has like a good, good body, like Torsten Ivar, maybe. Why did the Twitch explosion have to happen when Banto is streaming? <laughs> That's when Banto gets back to streaming. Twitch just starts to explode. So I think this guy would be good for you. I can see things again, nice. So let's see, what name did you want to have? Do you want to be your name? Drisna? You can see and you can hear. You have been blessed, man. <laughs> New UI. Yeah, we do have a new UI for the Norlings. Yeah, deactivate all the mods. And uh, if you got it working, 
Start disabling like or enabling mod by mod and then see when it turns black and then you might find out which mod it is causing it. Could be a combination between mods also. So there you go, Drisna. We will probably need another archer. And um, we, since we're playing with the Nordling Kingdom, instead of archers we have axe throws, but then we have an axe throw who's uh, throwing or using a bow and a shield at the same time. <laughs> But with this kingdom, you do have um, people using axes instead, which is cool. No problem, Drisna. No problem. Uh, let's see here. Did I close... Oh, no. Uh, Bantogon did close down the merchant. I wasn't supposed to close down the merchant. I wanted to buy some weapons, but... Um, I think we might have some market stall to send in some new ones, and hopefully they will sell some weapons. Or will we just craft it with... Um, a blacksmith. Drisna Dryden. Dryden? Dryden? Something like that. Latin for elf. That's cool. I know nothing of Latin. <laughs> oh, I just love this music. It's so nice. Level 2 Skirmisher. Very nice. Bantus level 2 Einhaya. And... Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen like how much or if you played with this mod, but this is the tank when you play with the Nordling Kingdom. Very, very Skyrim-ish without a helmet. Really cool. So that's our tank, and it's dual-wielding weapons. You have it actually, I think you have two axes. Two of those axes, and um, only one of them do damage, but this acts pretty much like a shield, so it gives more defense. But it looks pretty awesome. This is the cool tents we have for the Nordlings as well, so they can sleep here. It's passing out. I don't think it's my internet at least, it looks steady here and I have no reported trouble. It actually says stream was disconnected and attempted to reconnect 4 minutes ago. Triple repeating. That's kinda annoying, like if you're not partner and you, you don't get any priority, that's kinda sucks. Like even as an affiliate you don't get any, any like extra traffic to you. That's kind of rude, like smaller people streaming like me and others. I feel like there's so many things going on here, but that's nice. Like when the game gets dead, there's gets boring, but I never get time to do another house. I think I have to pause later and just start to design another house I want to do. But anyway, we got the, the rabbit here in greetings. I come asking for favor a long time in the making. There is a plant known to my people as Airbloom, which has not yet been grown for a long time. It needs the sun to flourish, and we've been unable to stay above ground long enough to tend to it for many years. The seeds have been passed down in my warren for generation, and I will be grateful and honored if you could grow them for us. We can do that for sure. Exciting how farmers would be happy to. Okay, so officially that was a mod. I just removed a lot of them and it started up. So yeah, time to go and get some good mods that are trustworthy. Thank you, Panto. No problem, Drisna. So are you gonna go and do a little bit of stone half then? Fantastic. I showed them how to plant it. At least as far as I've been told. I shall return eagerly once it had the chance to grow. Thank you. So we do have some fields that we can do the air bloom. Let's see, do we already have the seed? Nice. I guess we only need to do like one field, that should be good enough. And uh, let's see what we want to do. Some wheat I wanted. I'm gonna do two wheat and I might also do some saplings to get a few more seeds, like pine trees, that would be nice. We don't really have pine trees in this biome I think. That's gonna be nice, put in some viking trees. 
Yan Lee Cook level 2, nice. I do I do have it, I love the game. I'm not as art, uh, architecturally artistic. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. There's a lot of good templates and it's still fun to build and the more you experiment, the better you get and look for inspiration from other people making houses and also for Google like search for different houses and get some ideas like oh I could do that kind of roof or I could add that feature to my house or maybe I should think about that kind of texture. <laughs> Most of mine end up a quarter of a mile long. Uh, we're gonna make a new house I think very very soon. Let me just go into... let's get on... Should we just pause the game and build a house? What do you guys think? Should we do a house just pause the game so... Banton don't get distracted? Or should we just let it run in the background? I feel like I'm gonna get distracted very quick by messages then. But we also have a lot of things that needs to get done in town. And I'm thinking of doing a house here, maybe a little bit of a smaller one. A potter house. Hmm, I wonder how we want to do a potter house. Or did you make a potter yet? No, we don't have a potter, but we can probably get a potter. And then we need to promote uh, the mason. Maybe we get another mason, because I think maybe the mason we have is uh, having a heart, like a passion to be a mason. Oh, okay, and the Ganilla doesn't have a passion to be one, so she doesn't care, so let's be a potter. By the way, is the latency less now or not? I think you have to restart the stream, like, to get it to work, and I think we will not do that. Hello, Elenix, El how are you doing? Uh, what are those tents by the mountain? Uh, they are acting pretty much as beds, but they have a roof over them. And it's part of uh, the Nordling Kingdom mod created by Wouter in chat. So he's actually in our live chat here. I made a mod, but they're really awesome. You can sleep here and uh, they also have a roof over their head. Are we using Ace with this one? This is the first time we use Ace in live streaming videos. Still about one minute between typing and seeing. Do you guys think it would be worth just to a quick restart, because it will go really really quick to do so? Then we will have uh, it working with a very low latency. Reserved travelers. Uh, let's set up a few people that can have their beds here. Because that will make people more happy. And then when they get their very own real home, we will get their own real bed as well. So these are really useful, like maybe for like you know, early on when you don't have houses for everyone, which um, tend to be a very long time since you need so many houses and so many beds. So I'm pretty much setting up most of the villagers. So Brent is gonna be, I think that's the last villager needing a house. Nice. Twitch delay is out and set to a minute, 30 seconds to stop stream sniping. Yeah, don't stream snipe me in uh, Stone Harf. <laughs> I know what you mean, but um, if you do low latency, it will be, I think, just a few seconds. So I think we're back again, we should be back. Yeah, it's very rude to do stream sniping, it's very rude. Is up? Okay, so let's see how low the la latency is. So when you write something and I respond to it, you will kind of know if it's short or not. So now it's only 4 seconds delay, that's pretty good. And hopefully no buffering, That's that can be the trouble when you use low latency, that it will be like more buffering and stuff. Bento for president. <laughs> okay, so all of them got the beds there. Let's see if we can make an, uh, a house here. I think before we do maybe a potter house. 
for for that. I'm just gonna do a very basic house. Oh, Potter's Kiln, that's a new kiln. And probably part of Project Ace, so I haven't seen a new one. And a Potter's Wheel, nice. I need to play Rye Children someday soon again, guys. Live in the desert. So here is one of the items that we will need for um, making our lead in our hammer with the Nordlings. Don't talk about the buffering, it draws to it. <laughs> so we need to make this one, lead in our hammer mounting and... Uh, oh, I need the tonics. So this one isn't so hard to do, we pretty much need to level up. And then we need, uh, the, let's see here. That little gem thingy, I'm not sure what the name was, should be a little blue thing. Do I miss it? Let's see here, blacksmith. Might be mason. I'm gonna get a new mason, so... Let's see here, Vida, maybe could be a mason. And I did read, by the way, I spoke in the latest uh, livestream that um, the spirit affects um, how often they make high quality stuff and uh, I think it only says that when you actually create a new game, it says that it will make you make better, higher quality stuff more easier. Okay, the mason, okay. So, um, the higher this one is, the more likely you are to make high quality items with the spirit. So if you have uh, like 5 or 6, you will get really good crafts pretty often. So that you can sell for more money and also have a higher appeal so it looks nicer. So the wrist now you want to be an archer um see both see they both are having a green farm so they're going to be remain farmers um let's see here i might remove a few people i'm doing the job there pim i think you pim you're gonna be my mason if that's okay with you you're still around Because you do have heart of a crafter, so you will be happier if you get to craft a few times a day. And you will also be sad if you don't get to do crafting. So, let's see here. I guess we could promote the Drisna to be a footman for now, since we do need to level you up when you're going to be a skirmisher. Hello, Joe Boxen. Oh, a lot of boxes. 600 gold for the vault. Let's see if we have something to trade. We have a lot of things we could trade. We probably have too many of a lot of things. Okay, see we have a one market stall, so I'm gonna drop it out after this. I was hoping we had, uh, or do we have them? There's one. Wow, the Nordling throne is only worth 6 gold? I was expecting it to be worth a little bit more. Seen I've been promoted to Mason. Yeah, you're a Mason. You're gonna be in the new Master Mason. I would expect that it will be worth more. Yeah, you're gonna have to make the gem for us, which is super important for us to get uh, the legendary weapon. Okay, we got a message from a man with an arrow appears on your banner. Let's just go to the mason first. We're gonna ensure that we can level up our mason. So this gem should be in here. Is it called a gem? So this one, the lucid gem. We need gold, we need copper, we need tin, silver and iron. So pretty easy to do. Oh, look at that. It's worth a hundred gold. No throne based economy for you. <laughs> Also, I was buffering. Damn you, Twitch! Why you do this to me? Are there like a lot of um, a lot of streamers on right now, like big streams?
Like, it kind of sucks when you get on stream and... Um, oh my god, there's 992,000 people watching Fortnite. There's over, almost a million people watching Fortnite right now. What? What? I, I think I've never seen a category have like a million people watching. Yeah, we might have to go without low latency. Oh, I think if it keeps doing this thing, we have to maybe consider like YouTube streaming as, as like an alternative. I don't wanna. I really wanna be on Twitch with it, but like if it's not gonna work fully, I feel around with these things all the time. Uh, it would be annoying. Why would anyone watch it? Uh, I guess it's because it's really popular, but it's uh, not everyone's game, that's for sure. Mm. 